Hello my loves and welcome back to another grocery haul video. This week I did my groceries at Costco and Walmart. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. We are a family of four. There is myself, my husband, and our two boys. Merrick is 13 and Xander is 11 and a half years old. I will include prices for each individual item like I have in the past, as well as a grand total in the end. So if that's something that you'd like to see, then just keep watching. Guys, we are going to start with the Walmart grocery haul first. I want to apologize in advance. If you do hear some background noise, it is just my kiddos playing outside. Xander is working on a project. My sister bought him a uh, grow your own Christmas tree a couple years ago for Christmas. So that is what he is working on out there. And there's Rusty and Merrick's out there somewhere too. It is a gorgeous spring day out here today. It is 16 degrees. So it's a big change from the other morning when we received a ton of snow outside. I did uh, post it on the community post if you're interested in seeing that. All right, so back to the groceries. So we have two packages of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. They were on two for 20. I also have two packages of extra lean ground beef. I wanna make kind of like a Salisbury steak for dinner. We also have a package of frozen corn, a package of green beans, a large 16 pack of the Great Value Blueberry Waffles. Over here we have some mashed cauliflower for the week. We also have two skillet gnocchis. We have two packages of deli meat. One is baked ham and the other is slow roasted beef. I want to make some beef dips for the kiddos this week. We also have two packages of the salt reduced turkey bacon. I eat this every morning with breakfast. We also have some applewood smoked flavored bacon. Merrick is having a birthday party on Saturday, so I thought the boys would enjoy this with their pancakes and fruit. We also have a couple of English cucumbers, some red seedless grapes. These were expensive. Oh man, the grapes are pricey. We also have two packages of the Great Value Mac and Cheese, a package of lemon lime jello. These are a great low carb, um, fat free dessert. They're only five calories each. Over here, we have some garden veggie puffs. This is the white cheddar. I thought the boys could have some of that for school this week. We have some fat-free Italian dressing, a couple cans of the skipjack in water. Over here, this is a um, can of chili. I thought Merrick could have this for lunch one day this week. We have three yellow peppers two red peppers, and a tomato. I purchased two packages of large eggs, some egg whites, a large container of fat-free plain yogurt, a four liter container of 3% milk. I just opened a um, jug today, so that should, this should, do us for the week. We have two containers of unsweetened vanilla al almond milk. This is what Brad has with his breakfast in the morning. We have two loaves of 100% whole wheat great value bread. And this is a rotisserie chicken. We've already opened it. Brad and I had this uh, for lunch today. So that's all the food items from Walmart. Now I'm going to show you um, non-food items that we purchased at Walmart. We have been renovating Xander's bedroom and uh, it's almost all done. We are just waiting for a desktop from Ikea before we can completely finish his room and get everything nice and organized. Xander does have a bunk bed 
and trundle. So he has uh, three mattresses that need sheets. So that's what these are. These are a uh, flat sheet, fitted sheet, and a pillowcase. So we did purchase three of those. I have some mouthwash. This is a toy for Rusty. I don't know if you guys have a golden retriever, but Rusty is a golden retriever and they can really chew through things. So I don't know, hopefully this lasts him more than five minutes. Normally when we buy him a toy, he has it completely destroyed within minutes. So it should be interesting to see how long that'll last him. We also have some rawhide bones for him as well. Sandra has picture day on Tuesday, so I purchased some plain black t-shirts. My boys do not like to dress up. Uh, the only time they dress up is Mother's Day, and I don't really give them a choice on that day because it's my day and I want to see them all dolled up. Anyways, uh, so for picture day, they wear a black t-shirt and some jeans. So that's what these are for. And um, we purchased six of these pillows, so two pillows for each bed. All right, guys, so that is everything that I purchased from Walmart. I am going to turn you around, and we'll get into the Costco grocery haul. All right, guys, so from Costco, we purchased a 24 package of these bubbly waters. We have a 30 pack of Zevia Zero Calorie Soda. Not sure if you guys have ever seen these before, but they are sweetened with stevia and they don't have any, they don't contain any artificial coloring. So these sodas are all clear. So the flavors are, we have cola, creamy root beer, grape, ginger ale, black cherry, and cream soda. We also purchased a two pack of nonstick cooking spray a package of five Colgate toothpastes, a book for Xander, Cat Kid Comic Club on Purpose. So this is, I think, the third book. Xander has all of the Cat Kid Comic Club. He also has all of the Dog Man, and he loves Captain Underpants as well. All right, we also purchased a package of sparkling ice water. A large package of lemons, some shrimp. Oops, I'll just turn that around. This is some smoked turkey and chicken sausage. Brad needed a light for his garage, so that's what that is right there. We have a large package of broccoli florets. This here is some turkey sausage, turkey breakfast sausage. This is some instant cauliflower rice. I thought it would be interesting to try. Uh, I'm not sure how it tastes. Hopefully it's pretty good. We also have a large package of asparagus. And we have taiyaki sweet custard waffle treats. I thought these would be really cute for the boys to try. I could pop them in their um, thermos one day for lunch. And we always buy our toilet paper from Costco. They have, it's a really good deal and it's a huge package. And lastly, I did purchase this high density insulated bag. It is huge and you can fit a lot in there. So it's perfect for when you do grocery shopping and you want to put all your meat to keep it cold in there. It would also be really great to take to the beach if you're having a picnic or something. It's a pretty nice looking bag, right? All right, guys. So that is everything that we purchased this week. I do want to say that this is a huge bill. So let me show you what we spent so at Costco, we spent $318.43, and at Walmart, we spent $344.61 for a grand total of $663.04. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you do enjoy this type of content, please consider joining the family by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell not so you don't miss any new videos. Anyways, guys, take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.